I'm Lari and welcome to your barless minivan workout. What you're going to need today is a mat and of course your minivan. Now we need to make sure this minivan has some give to it because we're going to be primarily using this for the upper body. So I want you to go ahead and make sure that you can at least do 15 triceps, do your weaker side first if you have one. So anchor the band to the shoulder from here, elbow in tight, you wanna press it down, bring it in. We need to be able to do 15 of those in order to do this workout. Now it's still gonna be super challenging. I'm just trying to get to the point of if this band is too heavy, if it is super, super heavy and we cannot really pull it very much, it's not going to work. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that the resistance band may be too heavy. So you wanna make sure your mini band has some give to it. Grab everything that you need. This one is continuous. It's gonna go right into one exercise, into the next, into the next. So it is pretty challenging. Grab all your stuff and let's get going. You can go ahead and set that mini band off to the side. We're going to begin with a super quick body weight only warm up. So go ahead, bring it to an external rotation of the hips, slight turnout of the feet. Make sure your spine is in a nice neutral position. Show shoulders stacked over the hips. Go ahead, heel toe it out about one more time. Arms go long, big deep inhale. As we exhale, release the shoulders down and away from the ears. Palms are facing up. We're gonna take it up and over, return, up and over, return. Here we go in three, two, and one. So pivot on that foot, getting the hip nice and warm, internal rotation, adding the arms. Soft knees. We're gonna take it to a lunge in the center. Three, two, one. Lunge it down, return. Knee behind the toe, heavy in that heel. Reduce the range of motion as a modification. We have four. Last two each side, then we hold center. A last one. Each side now hold center, heavy in those heels. Pulse it down. Shoulders down and away from those ears. Go ahead, draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage. So we're pulling the lat muscles down. Now we bring it up and down, let's go. It's down, lift. those lat muscles down, chest is lifted, nice work, come on, we have eight more, here's your last four, and three, we hold in pulse, last two, hold it down, little pulses down, we have eight, and six, those arms go long. Four, three, straighten the legs, extend the arms. Now we take an internal rotation of the hips, but a different variation with the arms. So pretend like you're rowing it back. Pull it back with the upper back. Arms are in tight to the body. Four more each side, it's four, three, last two, last one each side, now we pulse it down, over under with the arms, my arms are already on fire, we don't even have a mini band yet, we're just going to make sure our shoulders, upper body is nice and warm before we begin, so with today's workout, we're gonna be challenging the upper body more so than the lower body. Now we're gonna challenge both, don't worry, but we're gonna use the mini band primarily for the upper body today. Keep that breath, we have eight more. It's eight, six, 
four, three, two, hold the palms up, it's down, lift up. Pull those lat muscles down. We have eight more. Seven, six, and five. We're done with this warm up. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Go ahead, roll those shoulders back and release the fingers behind the small of the back. Big deep inhale as we exhale. A little back bend up. Big, deep, expansive inhale, filling up that entire rib cage as we exhale, release the head forward. Grab a hold of that mini band. We're getting right into it. So first up, we're gonna start with your mid to upper back. We're going to do some rows. Heels and toes out. We're coming back to that external rotation of the hips. So we bring it down. We're gonna grab the band like this. I prefer grabbing it with my thumbs, but you can grab it like this as well. Do whatever feels most comfortable for you. Everyone's gonna be different. So we're right here. We bring it down, we lift, we pull, we return. Up, down, pull, return. Four count movement. We're gonna alternate left and right side. Are you ready? Here we go. In, in three, two, one. It's down, pull, return. Down, other side. Elbow is flared out. Legs, upper to mid to upper back. Pull it, elbow flares out to the side. Good job. Alternate left and right. Heavy in those heels. Make sure your knees are stacked over the ankles and we're not doing that number. Hamstrings and glutes, mid to upper back. Good. through it, come on. Eight more, it's eight. Drive it up, come on, seven. Six. Last five. Four. Three more, then we go bilateral. That means both arms. Last two. Last one. Now hold it back, little pulls. In, face pull, right by the face. Elbows flare out to the side, mid to upper back. You'll feel this in the delts as well. We have eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Squat it up and down. It's down and up. Inhale, exhale to drive. Three more. Last two. Last one. Drive the hands all the way up. Heel toe the feet in once or twice. Shift the weight into the right foot. Brace the core to help stabilize the hips. Here's what we're gonna do. We pull the left arm down, working the lat muscles. We return to center. We abduct that left leg and then we bring it down. So it's a four count movement before we start to make it even more challenging. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Pull, abduct. Pull, abduct. Lats, leg soft bend in that standing leg. Three more, it's three. And two, we're gonna amp it up a notch. One. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Keep this up, down. Now we pull towards that leg. A lat pull, side lats. Whew. Pull it in, stabilize those hips, obliques. Three more. Last two. Last one. Sumo squat, pulse it out, release those arms, roll it back. Ooh, all right, now we're going to place that band right around the wrist, above or below your watch if you have one. 
All right, so this does nothing right now. We're just chilling. So we need to really drive into the band once we get going. Right now we're recovering, giving that upper body a break. Coming your way, we have a bicep curl to overhead press. We're gonna challenge the lower body and the core by adding some little calf raises. So go ahead, press into that band. Bring all pulsing to a stop. Here we go. It's bicep, heels up, slow, lower down. Bicep, heels up, lower down. Biceps, heels up, lower down. Heels come down. Once the band is all the way down. Curl, press, lower heels and arms. Inhale, exhale down. What doesn't challenge us won't change us. You got it. Two more like this. It's two. Last one like this. Front raises eight. It's eight. Seven. Six. Five more than we hold impulse. Last four. Three. Two, hold it out, little pulses. Eight, seven, and six, we ISO hold. Four, three, two, hold and sink for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release, heel toe those feet, and we're doing the other side. Arms go up, this time, right arm pulls down, working the lat muscles. Then we abduct with the right leg, before we pull it in. Eight and eight, here we go. It's lats, abduct with the leg. Right lat, right leg. Lead with the heel. Standing leg is nice and soft. Two more like this, it's two. Last one like this. Now we're amping it up a notch. We just add the arm with the leg. Pull it down to the side. Whew. Three more. Last two. Last one, sumo squat, we pulse it out, roll those shoulders back. Nice work, place that band above the wrist. Ooh, roll those shoulders back. We're going, to, we're going to do that same exact thing. Bicep curl to press, heels go up when the arms go up, heels go down when the arms come down. We're giving our shoulders a little mini break. Before we get going, make sure we're heavy in those heels right now. You always wanna keep the knees behind the toes even when we lift the heels up. All right, get into position, press against that band. We go in three, two, now hold. Heels up, press, lower down. Heels up, when I shake my head, that means it is very challenging. Minimal cues today, because your instructor is right there with you. Press against that band. I know it's burning. You got it. Four more like this. It's four. Three. Two. Last one. Eight front raises. We have eight. Seven. Six. Five more, then we hold impulse. Last four. Three. Two. Hold the arms up. Now we pulse it down. Arms and legs. Eight more like this. It's eight and six. We hold. Four, three, two. Now hold. So you get one inch lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, release those arms, just pulse it down. Ooh. Oh my goodness, all right. So we've hit shoulders, we've hit back, we've hit biceps, now what's left? Oh, we gotta hit the chest. But first, we're gonna hit some triceps. So we're gonna hold our band like so, like so, in the hands. Woo! Pulse it out, eight more like this. It's eight and six, we quarter turn to the right, four, three, two, quarter turn. Little pulses down. All right, so the left foot is back, right foot is forward. <laughs> what we're going to do is anchor the band to the left shoulder. Left hand will grab that band. So we're at a 90 degree bend with the elbow. We're using the band as resistance. So we anchor the elbow in tight. We're gonna hit some triceps. But first we're gonna challenge ourselves with an additional leg lift. So here's what it's gonna look like. Go ahead, start to shift the upper body forward. Bring the pulses to a stop. It's looking like this. It's triceps, leg lift, return to center. Triceps, leg lift, return to center. Just pulse it down. We wanna make sure on the leg lift that your hip points stay square. So don't think about how high can you get that leg. Think about bracing in the core, lifting from that glute muscle. If you're opened up, you won't feel it as much in the glute. We're gonna feel in the triceps mainly anyway. Here we go. Bring it to a stop. We go, it's triceps, leg lift, return. Triceps, leg lift, return. Four more. It's four. Three. Two, last one, just pulse it down. All right, we're gonna add the triceps, three pulses, return to center. Three, two, one, return. Three, two, one, return again. Three, two, one, return. One more. Here's your last two. Three, two, one, return. Three, two, keep that pulse for eight and six. We hold. Four, three, hold upper and lower. Eight, six, five, four. Alternate lunges, bring it in. Ooh, give that upper body a little break. Alternate the lunges heavy in the heels. One side's gonna feel a little bit more fatigued than the other, that's okay. All right, we're gonna add to this. So bring the band right above the wrist. Take a big deep breath. This one is tough. As we do these lunges, we're going for a little Bradford press. So bring the band right in front of the face. We bring it up, pull it apart, pull it apart. Behind the head in front of the eyes. Working the upper back and the entire head of the delt. Front of the shoulders, sides of the shoulders, back of the shoulders. We have four, two, Last one, go ahead, bring that other foot forward. Get into position, anchor the band against the right shoulder. We press it down from here, slight hinge forward, press against that band, lift the leg, return to center, all right. Ooh, big deep breath, this one's challenging. Anchor that band, we go in three, two, one. It's triceps, lift the leg, return to center. Triceps, lift, turn to center. Hit point square. Four more. It's four. Three. Two. A last one like this. Bring it to that lunge pulse. All right, we're gonna add the tricep with it. Three pulses. Return to center. Let's go. It's three, two, 
pull one, bring it up. Drive through that front heel. Halfway through. Two more. Last one, then we pulse it. Just hold that pulse. Eight and six, we hold. Four, three, two, hold and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, and four. We alternate that lunge in three, two, one. Ooh, nice work. All right, we're bringing that band right above the wrist. We're going back to those Bradford presses, but this time we're gonna pulse for three, extend for four. So we'll pulse in front and we'll pulse behind. Bring the band up right in front of the face. Big deep breath, shoulders down and away from those ears. Hold center, pulse. Three, two, one, bring it up. Three, two, one, bring it up. Eight more, it's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two more, you got it. Last one. Quarter turn back to me, release the arms down. Ooh, heavy in those heels. Give that upper body a little break. All right, we're gonna do those biceps to press that little trio one more time before we come down to your mat and really work your transverse abdominals, rectus abdominals, that entire core really. All right, here we go. We got this, come on. Drive into that band, we go. Up, press, lower down. Heels up, lower down. Eight more. Seven. My legs are shaking. Last four, three, two, last one. Front raises eight, eight, seven, six, five, one inch lower, four, and three. We hold impulse, two. Hold it up, pulse it out and down. Eight more, it's eight and six, we hold. Four, three, two, now hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, heels go up. Three, two, heels up. Eight, six, press against that band, four, three, two, heels down, release that band, inhale, arms go up. As we exhale, hinge forward. My goodness, let that head hang nice and heavy. We're not done yet. Okay, big deep inhale. Exhale, feel a nice stretch along the hamstrings. On your next inhale, slight bend in the knees. Take a quarter turn to the right. Release the back knee, back top foot. We're coming up onto the knees. All right, we're gonna get right into it. We have an ISO bird dog out and in with a high plank. It's gonna look like this. First, put your band, I'm dripping sweat by the way. <laughs> Place your band back on by your wrist. This is more challenging than it looks, I promise. All right, so we're right here. Extend the right leg long, square off the hip, big deep inhale. As we exhale, engage TBA, lift that heel up. Now this is our starting position. We take this left arm and we go out and in for two. 
we then release the right toes, bring it to a high plank, and then we're back to center. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Remember for these bird dogs, opposite leg, opposite arm. If you do both sides or the same side, you will probably tip over. So opposite leg, opposite arm, working the entire core. Here we go, bring it up. We go for eight and three, two, one. Out, in, out, in. Release the toe, high plank. We go again, out, in, out, in. Release the toe, high plank. Good, press against that band. Hip point stay square. High plank for just a second. Halfway through. Two more like this. Let's make a run together. I'll be by your side. Last one. And if the sky falls down on you. Hold this high plank. Eight seven and six knees go down four three two knees go down walk the hands in roll out those shoulders so before we do that other side we're gonna work the core but we're definitely gonna work the quads all right so give your shoulders a break but go ahead and place it right around the wrist because i think we're gonna add some so from here keep a neutral low back you're engaging your core and if you're like this you're not engaging your core or your transverse and rectus abdominals because they're being stretched. So make sure, neutral, it's engaged. Here we go. We go back for two, up for two. Back for two, up for two. So we're gonna feel tension in the quads. And if this is uncomfortable on your knees, double or triple roll your mat. You also can have something right here to help pull yourself up or reduce your range of motion right here right here bring it up quads core <laughs> all right go ahead if your band got away from you go ahead and grab it we bring it out we bring it in bring it out is your low back neutral we should not be feeling this in the low back core is engaged We have four, three, last two, last one. Bring it all the way up. All right, we're going to that bird dog. Two out, high plank for split second before coming back in. This time, opposite leg goes out, left leg goes out. Bring the heel up, core is engaged, hip point is square. Right arm goes out and in for two. Then we release to that high plank. And then bring it down. Here we go. Big deep inhale. We go for eight in five, four, three, two, one. Hand out, hand in, hand out, hand in. Toe grounds, high plank. Back to center. Way through four more toe down high plank return to center good three more last one hold this high plank hold it Core engaged, belly button draws up and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release those knees, send those hips back. Little child's pose. All right, we're gonna come into the core even more. 
Go ahead, start to walk the hands in, swing the feet in front of you. We're gonna start with the band right below the knees, but as a modification, if it becomes too much, you can place it above the knees in a high band position. So go ahead, bring it there. Make sure you're sitting with a neutral pelvis so we're not tucked under. Remove the flesh from underneath, but you're not in an anterior tilt either. So neutral, neutral spine. From here, press into the band. So we're engaging the outer glutes, outer thighs as well. Hands go right in front. We bring it right and left, Russian twist. Right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. If this is too much, because we do have a slight lean back, you can always bring it up here. Do what works for you. Last one slow, then we increase the tempo, decrease the range of motion. Hands right in front. We have eight, and six, we hold center. Four, three, two, hold center. Inhale, our head reaches long as we exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time till the next is the last thing to come off. Drive into the band, knees go to the chest, and then we tap the heels for a reverse crunch. Let's go. Let's slow it down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's change it one count up, three counts down. It's one, two, three, four. One count on the concentric explosive phase. Three counts on the eccentric phase with gravity. Belly button's drawing up and in. Good. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one, hold the feet down. We take the feet out and in. Feet wide, feet in. Feet wide, feet in. <sighs> Hands go behind the head, big deep inhale. As we exhale, shoulder blades come off the ground. Iso crunch with the out and in. <sighs> eight more like this, it's eight, seven, Six, five, last four, three, two, one. Knees go in, extend the legs long. Dorsiflex at the ankle, drive into the band. So we should feel some engagement right here. We lower and we lift. Option or modification, do what we just did. Let's go. Down for two, up for two. You may wanna bring the hands, support the sacrum. This feels better for me. Down for two, up for two. Down for two, up for two. Pretty soon we're gonna switch up the tempo. One count up, three counts down. Let's go, we take it. Three, two, one, dry four. Three, two, one, dry four. Use the lower abdominals on that fourth count. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one, hold and hover. Press against that band. Out, if you want more of a challenge, hands go behind the head, shoulder blades off of the mat. This is where we end, 16. Here's your last eight and six. It's an ISO hold. Four, three, two, ISO hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Knees go in. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, just flip that band off. Oh, nice work. Hug the knees in. Give yourself some circles with the knees. Now let's reverse those circles. 
Grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings. Let's give yourself a few rolls up. On the third roll, let's bring it all the way up. Cross at the ankles, hinge it forward. We're coming into a tabletop position. Get my mic out of the way. <laughs> tabletop position. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, tailbone curls up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Whew. Do that again. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine. Before we get into stretching those abdominals, let's get those lat muscles. So keep the hips over the knees, walk the hands out. When you can walk them no more, release the chest, release the head. We're coming into puppy pose. When you're ready, start to frame the face with both hands. Bring it on up. Let's do some cow cats again. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Once more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Nice work. Let's just start to walk the knees behind. Walk it, walk it. And then when we can't walk it anymore, just start to release those hips. Oh. Heart reaches forward. As we inhale, right hip goes down. Look over your left shoulder. And let's just switch sides. Inhale forward as we exhale, bring it up. Downward facing dog, walk the feet in. Heels reach towards the mat, feel a nice stretch along the backs of the legs, pedal out the heels right and left. Both heels reach towards the mat, inhale, look up the hands as we exhale, tippy toe forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, full forward fold, root to rise, reverse, swan dive it up. And as we exhale, let's get those triceps. One second. <laughs> let's get those triceps, arms go up. Hinge at the right arm, a little side bend up and over to the left. Inhale up, switch sides. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right. Inhale, look up. And as we exhale, we are done, y'all. Nice work today. That was challenging. I am drenched in sweat. What about you? Let me know how you like this in the comments below. That really challenged the entire body, but man, upper body. Whew. Nice work. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below, and I will get to it as soon as possible. Have a wonderful rest of your day.